All right, it's uh, it's July 29th, and I am in Yucca, Arizona. It is 10 minutes after six, and it is 101 degrees. It's a dry heat, they say. Hmm. Uh, this poem is called Morning Talk, and it has some adult themes in it. If you can't. Uh, I suggest you exercise some self-control and not watch it if you're troubled with that kind of thing. Morning talk. I had always wondered, she said, what it would be like to sleep with a felon. She was sitting upright in bed, leaning against pillows stacked behind her against the headboard, drinking coffee with a newspaper spread across her lap while he still clung to sleep beside her twisted in a fetal curl. It was early, earlier than any hour he had known in years, and though he had definitely heard her speak, he feigned intractability from a private world of dreams. One time in Telluride, she said cheerfully, I did fuck a plaintiff lawyer from Chicago. He was Jewish, but he wore a cowboy hat and boots. I think his name was Silverman, or maybe it was Goldman. Anyhow, that wasn't much fun, I tell you. She smiled. My girlfriend Chanel told me that screwing a cowboy in Telluride was like eating sushi in Kansas City. Now he rolled over in a bit of a snit, pulled the sheet up over his head as if that might block out her talking. The bed jiggled and some of her coffee tided from the cup and into the newspaper she seemed not to care. I'll say this much about you. You do have a big imagination, even if you couldn't find a clitoris with a flashlight and a Mayo Clinic printout. I sure hope you weren't a bank robber. If you were, no damn wonder you ended up in the penitentiary. That did it. He tore back the sheets, got out of bed, and stomped toward the bathroom. There's a blue toothbrush you can use in the drawer to the right of the sink, she called out after him. I think it's new, or at least almost new.